niggas with the Louis V. This a hood classic. Shout out to my nigga Malini. Still fuck with that Reggie nigga and that nigga Bubba. The streets were pleasant for me. Now these niggas got trucked no. off. I'm always on the line. I can't never sit, never sit still. Well, salute the young Dolph. We got to talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of back and forth being said about young Dolph's cousin and alleged this and that going for tit for tat. We got to not downplay or be biased, but we got to make sure people ain't spreading the false information as far as saying that Key Glock allegedly backdoored, you feel me, young Dolph. I, I don't see that happening at all. Got a close friend in Memphis who hit me up, who's connected to these Memphis South, or well, Southern Memphis, that is, and, and told me that's all cap, and he was gonna show what's going on with this whole thing in the beginning of it. So we're gonna let Broski talk and let us know what's going on. Y'all hit that like button, that notification bell, and come rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Sit inside, I smoke G, with the magic, he my dog, he died in traffic with that brand new block to see the voodoo lady, I'm on hot shit right now. That wood done turned me crazy. With a brand new black Mercedes, it's a stay I be my baby. I see so many Z's, it look like double Z's. O and G, red and blue flag hanging on my back. That's it. Make sure you also follow my Instagram at DJ underscore bless one. Now, there's a lot going on with this Young Dolph situation. We know the back and forths. We do know that Key Glock has not been involved, but we know a lot of the suspects been around Key, Key Glock, been cool with Key Glock. They've been around the Paper Route Empire label as well or actually work for them. It's too much going on in coincidence and to the point that now people are trying to say that, you feel me, Glock, it, well, it's not a big amount of people, but it, it's a certain amount that's trying to put him in the mix of things, and I don't think it's fair. They're trying to tie him into the surroundings of what happened to Dolph. Man, rest in peace to the legend. Uh, um, I don't want to do that at all. I want us to find the right things, and we're going to break this down the right way. Now, when you're looking at some of the things that were out there, paperwork on some of the guys that were in the case you feel me that were connected like devin burns who they also try to connect the glock but devin burns was also in a federal informant you feel me well tries to kill the federal informant pia sims over ppp loans that that was the case as far as with the paperwork shown during that time yeah you, you know what i'm saying it, it was a lot issued in those paperwork that you got to see shout out to online tv for those sources right there but devin burns you know the person of interest in the young Dolph murder as well has been captured he's also been captured with joshua teller and a lot of these dudes are being connected as uh, being blamed as the friends of you know what i mean Dolph. and then they use the picture here you can see a lot of these personnel with key glock at the party you know just chilling at the spot doing what they do so people took that to connect them i don't take that as a connection at all other than you're at a party and being at that party or being just homies you don't know niggas attentions you feel me you don't know their intentions what they're trying to do out here what they you feel me they might be seeming cool to you but when money comes and get involved a whole lot a lot of get going on so to to even put a backdoor situation for key glock will be foul but do i personally think backdoors happen in this case i think a lot of backdoors happen in this when you see the similarities of what's been going on who's been in tune with what i mean it's hard not to say a, a backdoor situation was involved right here you feel what i'm saying a whole lot from even a, a straight drop himself doing knucklehead type activities we're gonna have another uh, um video as well telling y'all what happened with the straight drop situation he got a new charge being added on him separate from the young Dolph case go check that video also on the playlist but i mean it's too much ups and downs, and it's easy to just pinpoint it and blame one person. I ain't going to do that with the blaming of one person, you feel me? That that in itself 
it is a lot of contradictions you feel me you got to understand people love young Dolph, so a lot of people are going to be connected to him a lot of people are going to be tied with the rapper this rapper is known for breaking waves in the industry the streets the community all sectors and walks of life he went into so it'll be very easy to say this person or that person kill him but i highly doubt key glock had anything to do with the situation you could tell his cousin was hurt by it and, and not just him you got guys who choose to clean up young Dolph's memorials such as the likes of jeremiah taylor who are they're now trying to connect him in the conspiracies to joshua taylor i think they're only doing it because both brothers from memphis both brothers know uh, um, young Dolph, and both brothers got the same last name now maybe they are i got some certain people who say they were i'm not saying that i'm just gonna say jeremiah taylor is a good dude who's connected to Dolph as far as an association and, and it's already sad that now connections are being seen like what did the cookie you know people had to do with him as far as now they're moving on now and leaving the spot that memorial ain't gonna be there no more you feel me everything gotta be leaving because the shop wants to close down and not be there anymore even though we know they've made a marginal profit i'm not marginal they made a significant profit to the point they become the plug now and it could sell into anybody. But to tie these alleged killers to Key Glock and Young Dolph and say they're at fault as far as being connected to Key Glock. Nah, that's crazy, man. We are not going to say Key Glock has backdoored Young Dolph. That would be foul journalism. I've seen a lot of blogs going out there saying Key Glock is suspect. Another video say Key Glock got arrested as a person of interest. Just extra things for clicks and baits. So I wanted to disparage those rumors and having a platform. I want to do things such as the likes of this and continuing on to let y'all know a lot of cap going on you feel me but guys like dj academics he do it the right way whether you like him or not i just disapprove of his ways when it came to chicago but that's neither here or there you know what i mean but it, it's been a lot of explanation with young Dolph beef whether he was in a yo Gotti situation and then they even did a part two of it so i had to a lot of articles are very in-depth and in getting deep into it they do everything but talk about his music you know he had a lot of hits man his lp king of memphis in 2016 you know it was de debuted at number 49 on the billboards and where he come from independently that's generational wealth and legendary status right there on a billboard top 200 he came 49th beating all these major markets that shows you a lot man the role model album the uh, um the rich slave in 2020 dumb and dumber one and number two that was his last album sadly but a lot of things going on with this man Dolph was unique he's the, the one of the rappers who retired you feel me and after retiring he came back in a booming effect after speaking to his kids and big bank from Atlanta on the big part on facts podcast and he came back and told DJ scream I'm here to stay man I'm here and I'm unretiring that that was legendary when he did that but everybody from the cookie people to be connected to it the memorial coming down this whole young Dolph situation just been one nightmare movie and also love at the same time to see the unity with some of the great people in the communities a lot of the elder statements have come together and brought the community together a lot of the ogs and double ogs and big homies understanding that bro it's about our future and our kids and all that what i got going with you partner let's put a time out on it for a little bit and get the going with the brazy way the easy way the trail way but to see all these officials having guidelines on march 17 that's designated towards certain uh, um illness we'll just say other than sticking with you know the situation with young Dolph that's how I personally feel you should have stick with that situation as far as giving that brother the energy that he needs for his situation and what he got I mean it's only making sense and it's only right man the more I look into this the more I understand uh, 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 observation young Dolph is more than just a rapper more than just a community 
personality. Young Dolph is a spirit of energy that's missing from a city that has back-to-back -back drillings left and right. I mean, it's sad that this is the continuation of violence that got to continue in the world and what we see. But to see people get together and make peace of it, it, it is always going to be better, man. Like, Key Glock, salute to you. We are with you. This platform moving and about with change. And, and, and we need more great people like Key Glock to understand he will be part of that change. He is dearly needed. Look, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Make sure you follow me at DJ underscore Bless One on Instagram. Support the platform in a movement. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you, without a doubt, like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube platform. And what we got going on over here. Salute, gang. See the voodoo lady, I'm on high shit right now That woo done turn me crazy With a brand new black Mercedes It's a stay I be my baby I see so many Z's It look like double Z's OMG, red and blue flag And you know my bad